Upon seeing the Confederates wrestle the heights away from the Federal hands and surround the town with artillery and the Army of Potomac not coming to their aid, the men of the Garibaldi Guards decided to share their fate with the rest of the garrison and defend the breastworks until they are all dead or forced to surrender, with the latter happening a day later, only a day before repulsed a dedicated Confederate assault on Bolivar Heights. The 39th New York Infantry are more famously known as the Garibaldi Guards in recognition of the famous Italian revolutionary Giuseppe Garibaldi. The Guards are one of the more notable regiments of New York who was formed by mostly men of many different nationalities, all hailing from Europe. The regiment consisted of 11 companies, each with their distinct nationality which included 3 German, 3 Hungarian, 1 Swiss, 1 Italian, 1 French, 1 Spanish, and 1 Portuguese. The guards were officially formed on May 28, 1861, and would first see combat at the Battle of First Bull Run. Then they would be moved to face Jackson in his Valley Campaign before ending up in Harpers Ferry. During the siege of Harpers Ferry, the guards were assigned to the right flank of Bolivar Heights, only seeing action on the night of the 14th when Confederates made a divisionary attack against the skirmishers who were stationed in front of the breastworks on Bolivar Heights, which distracted the garrison from A.P. Hill's movement to the south. Yet their fate was sealed the next day when their commander, Colonel Dixon S. Miles, surrendered the garrison along with the 530 strong Garibaldi guards after another artillery bombardment on the 15th. After the siege, the men were paroled by A.P. Hill, who left in a hurry to join the fighting at the Battle of Antietam on the 17th. The guards are equipped with the M1842 Springfield smoothbore musket and its socket bayonet. The musket has two types of ammunition, the medium range large 69 caliber round ball and the powerful short range bucking ball. Even though this gun did not have the range of or ammunition of the more advanced rifles, it can sure swing its own weight in the crowded streets of Harpers Ferry with its bucking ball. The guard's uniform was inspired by the Red Shirts, troops led by the famous Italian revolutionary Giuseppe Garibaldi. The guard's uniform consisted of a dark blue frock coat with red cuffs and collar and dark blue pants trimmed with red tape. Underneath the frock was a red wool shirt that paid tribute to the original Red Shirts. For their cover, the guards wore a felt hat ornamented with ostrich feathers and green leaves. The guards would be seen with or without their knapsacks. In War of Rights, you can find the guards defending different streets of Harpers Ferry and Bolivar Heights against the Confederate assaults. Now what will you do? Will you join up with these tenacious foreign red shirts or force them to surrender?